each with authentic costumes, instruments, and lifelike hair. Figures Toy Company has done something that I have been dreaming of since Christmas 1978. 8-inch Kiss figures in scale with the rest of my favorite heroes and villains. Plus, they've done it at an acceptable cost with noticeable improvements in quality over their previous figure releases. And while I'm a very excited fanboy wanting to give credit where credit is due, I also have some not-so-flattering points that I think the collector community may want to pay heed to. But first things first. This Series 1 release of KISS figures is based on the Love Gun look of KISS-tory. They're almost dead on detail for detail reproductions of what Mego did 34 years ago, only shorter. I acquired these particular figures from my pal Toy Man Chris, who I met through the forums at the Mingo Museum. Along with his brick and mortar store in Kakano, Wisconsin, Chris also has an eBay store where you will find a huge variety of amazing collectibles at great prices. And being that Chris is a toy lover too, when you deal with the toy man, you're dealing with someone who loves this stuff as much as you do. So do yourself a favor and after the review, go geek out with Chris via the button you see below. Now moving on. Prior to receiving these figures, I was a little unsure considering that despite their size, there really wasn't anything all that special going on here. I was wrong. Size does matter. <laughs> now starting with the body, I applaud the Figures Toy Company folks for really stepping it up. The body appears to be made of a more durable plastic, while the hands are made from a flexible rubber that allows for the figures to hold things without the fear of the fingers breaking off. Another positive is the paint application on the faces. I don't know if it's the scale or the technique, but something about the way Ace, Peter, Paul, and Gene look in this 8-inch format is so clean, vibrant, and sharp. The weakest link is the packaging, and while I've got some issues I'll share in a moment, there are some positives I'd like to point out. First, the card art is very vibrant, and the back of the card is informative, featuring a timeline that leads from the band's beginning to the release of Love Gun, which of course is the snapshot in time these figures capture. Overall, Ace, Peter, Paul, and Gene are very well done, shrunken representations of their vintage counterparts and are a wonderful addition to the modern Remigo movement. But like all things in man's sunlit world we believe to be reality, there is another side that we must look at that isn't so brightly lit. A dark side. But first, check this out. While I don't have sponsors, I do have friends, and those friends are doing some really cool things in the world of 8-inch Remigo goodness. One of those fellows is Jay Piscopo and Nemo Toys. Coming soon, a whole new lineup of heroes from days gone by will be available for your collection and imagination. Get the latest scoop on Commander X and many more amazing heroes at CaptainEli.com. Now, back to the dark side of this review. Being that I sincerely appreciate all the improvements that Figures Toy Company has invested in this line, I feel a bit like an a-hole in the nitpicking tirade I'm about to launch into. I am doing this as constructive criticism, though, and the positive of the line far outweighs the negatives. Now, the main gripe that I have in this line isn't from the figures themselves, but from the packaging. Point by point, here are my observations. Number one. It's freaking huge. The sides measure one and a quarter of an inch while the top is one and a half inch of excess plastic that eats up wall space with little purpose. Point two. To partake in the resealable clamshell feature, you have to cut the officially branded and licensed zip tie and thus forever ending its mitten package possibilities. As noted in point two, there is a zip tie that you have to cut to access the figure, so when you have a minor issue like Paul does here with a shoulder strap, you have to damage the packaging to carry out the quick and easy fix. Point four. Since they aren't really albums, the mini album covers are a boring accessory that you have to wreck the card back 
to get to, and then you have four of the exact same boring accessories when you open up all four figures. And like the mini album covers, the tray used to keep the figures snugly in place destroys the card when you go to free the figures. Another negative I feel I need to point out would be the slight twist the bodies have. To me, this is only a mild annoyance because I can still pose my figures within the realm of standard Mego range. My final negative observation is that Paul's head looks slightly deformed. It's sort of like how Jim Carrey's Riddler ends up at the end of Batman Forever. Still, not enough reason not to order a set. Just free them from their giant packaging and then rock and roll all night and party every day. If you're a KISS fan, you cannot not own these. While other KISS figures have been released in the past couple decades, none of them can really capture the essence of classic KISS better than a classic style. Plus, since Figure Toy Company says they'll be releasing more versions of the band spanning four decades of KISS, I'm certain the first release will be highly sought after by late-to-the-party collectors. While I blasted the packaging, that shouldn't stop you from ordering these otherwise awesome figures today. I can easily say they are worth a deuce and then some. The biggest thing for me isn't that little buddy me and Brock Sampson can hang out with Kiss, but rather this familiar brand could be a great way to introduce more folks to the 8-inch classic style format. Also, I think other Remigo makers will do well thanks to all this extra exposure. Now wrapping up, let me again throw out a big attaboy one more time to the folks at Figures Toy Company for stepping up their game, improving their quality, and maintaining fair prices at the same time. To you, the viewer, I say thank you for watching, and I would really appreciate it if you would rate and comment on this review, and I hope that in the end, it'll help encourage you to go play. Until next time, so long, everybody. When friends come over, there is satisfied the sight. So many thousands, just one place gets them a fright.